About a year ago, I built my first gaming PC, and today I will try to recreate it in a video game called PC Building Simulator. So, let's see what happens. Welcome to our virtual workshop. In my original real life video, the steps I took to build my PC are different than the way I'll do it in the game, but I'll try to do everything as closely as possible. Let's start by getting the same Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB case. After taking off the sides, top panel, and the filter from the top, we are now ready to install the motherboard. In my gaming rig, I have the Asus Rogue Maximus 10 Hero, but the PC Building Simulator only has the Asus Rogue Maximus 10 Hero Wi-Fi AC. The main difference is the Wi-Fi option. When I built my gaming PC, I installed my six cores processor before placing the motherboard into the case. In the video game, the order you make the PC is not the same. So let's put the Intel Core i7-8700K processor in the already mounted motherboard. The next step is to install the internal hard drive. I have the Western Digital Blue 500GB M2 SSD. In this video, I'm using the Patriot Scorch 512GB. It seems to be the closest option that we have. At the time I built my gaming PC, I only had two Corsair Vengeance RGB 8GB memory modules. Now I have four. In PC Building Simulator, the closest match is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro in white, but it has the same memory speed of 3000 MHz. Time to install the CPU cooler, but first let's apply a little bit of thermal paste. I have the Corsair H60, but in this video I am using the Corsair Hydro Series H80i V2 liquid CPU cooler. This one has two fans on each side of the radiator. In my real life PC, we just added an extra LED fan. About the closest match we have in PC building simulator to my EVGA GeForce the X1080 Ti SC2 graphics card, or GPU, is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Kingpin video card, so I have to go with this one. Same goes for the power supply, or PSU. It has the same EVGA brand name and the same wattage, which is 850 watts but it's a different model, EVGA Supernova 850T2 instead of the EVGA 850GQ Gold. As I mentioned earlier, my gaming rig has three extra Apivia 120mm pink LED case fans. For the purpose of matching the pink LED color in the video game, I am using EKWB EK Vader EVO fans. Let's start the computer and adjust the lighting to pink. Place the top filter back with the glass panels. There we go. I present to you a close copy of my real life gaming rig that I created in PC Building Simulator. If you'd like to see how I built my gaming rig, the link to the video is in the top right corner. Thank you for watching! If you like what we do on this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out our other videos. Likes and comments are always welcome.